everybody and welcome to Oberon's Outlook on the Emotional Exchanges. It's my weekly forecast into our relationship, romantic and otherwise, life for the week. And of course that week is the week beginning today, Friday, August 30th. And going through next Thursday, I think that's the 5th of September. So, Banshee, my other half, has told me I should try and use my sexy voice more. So I will. Anyways, this is a reading for the elemental signs of the Zodiac. I do three different decks and three different cards pulled for three different questions. So we're going to start with the air signs. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And I'm using the Modern Love Tarot. And we're going to look at the emotional theme of the week for the air signs. It's the sun reversed. So in most tarot readings, the sun reversed is hardly ever looked at as being the opposite. It's more likely a slight cloudiness to the day. The sun reversed indicates that maybe for the air signs, there's some good prospects for some real emotional happiness ahead. It may not be the exact, you know, firecrackers 4th of July, it's Labor Day weekend, but um, look at it that way too, that, you know, nothing ill seems to be happening emotionally. Okay, so now we're going to look and see, though, at what possible things could oppose your happiness. And for that, we're going to use the Tarot of Oppositions. There she is. Oops, upside down. So it's a unique duck like any of mine. It's sort of double-edged. And so the reversed depiction is one edge and then the upright is the other. And the idea of this is that these are opposition points but that there could be a, a fluidness in there. And so I thought it was a good deck to use for the emotional exchanges. So air signs, once again, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, what is it that opposes your emotional happiness? And it's the reversed four of wands. So there may be, and of course, the other side is the upright one, which of course is a very nice side to have. Normally, I don't think that the reversed four wands is a complete uh, painful kind of card. Uh, but in this instance, I think we are trying to draw the sense of an opposition here. And so this could be saying that maybe if there is some unease around the home, maybe some things that just are not done. And I'm not necessarily talking about, oh, the garbage wasn't taken out, or we need a new, you know, window replacement over here, or anything like that. I'm thinking also in terms of the emotional foundation of a home or a relationship. So maybe this could be saying that we need to look at that. There's a fluidity there that maybe, you know, sometimes we're getting it right, sometimes we're not. So examine that, air signs. Make sure that the foundation is solid. So now I'm going to look at our final part here, and that is who's coming towards me? Who's coming towards the air signs? 
And of course, it could just be of emotional interest. It doesn't necessarily indicate that there is some sort of uh, relationship potential, especially, of course, because many of us are all, could already be in a relationship. But basically, the way I look at that is that maybe there is somebody who is interested in you from an emotional point of view. You could have some reason to want to reach out to you. So what is that about? Air signs. And I'm using the Ibis Tarot. And in a reading that Banshee came up with, I flip cards over until I get the first court card. And that indicates the kind of awareness or presence uh, of this possible person coming towards you. And no surprise, it's the wand of, or the page of wands, they call it the slave of scepters, it's upright. So this card goes to a personality that maybe uh, is youthful. Maybe they're a messenger of some sort. Uh, maybe the person that could be coming towards you, air sign, is possibly a fire sign. Maybe they are Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But I think they're young and inquisitive. They're willing to take risks. And so I don't know if this reaching out then could, for those interested, be interesting romantically, but maybe otherwise as well. All right, that's what I have for the air signs. So now we will move on to the fire signs. And fire signs are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Oops. So first we're going to look at what is the emotional tone or environment or situation around the fire signs. And once again I'm using the Modern Love Tarot by Ethany. signs. Emotionally speaking, what's going on around you right now? And it's the upright five of wands. So that doesn't look really great in that card. I mean, from uh, some sort of emotional point of view, this looks like maybe somebody is sort of feeling like they have to make a stand and maybe they have to um, be more than just show. Uh, in some interpretations, the Five of Wands sort of is more of a friendly competition. This doesn't look that friendly. So I'm thinking because we are reading in the spirit of those cards that maybe somebody is willing to put their money where their mouth is. And that may affect you very much uh, this week, Fire Signs. All right, so now maybe we should go right away then to the tarot of oppositions to find out what it is it that opposes your happiness. Is there some data about that first card there? And it's the reverse Queen of Wands. So we're continuing with the Wands. And remember that because there are two sides represented there, there's the chance that maybe there's some movement between these opposites here. The Queen of Wands reversed. Well, maybe there's somebody who is headstrong in this relationship to the point that they would burn it down if they don't get their way. Um, but because of the presence of the reverse card, 
it's merely a matter of figuring out really what they want that may be bickering whatever aside somebody hasn't really been clear enough and so there is some gradation there too that you know sometimes emotionally speaking we have to be willing to give a little to get a little and so if either of you are too standoffish or if there's some situation where somebody really is trying to control things and not willing to allow some some motion there then that's going to oppose things and you'll have to work on that all right so at any rate fire signs who is coming towards you who is reaching out to you whether in love or just strong sense of emotion the ibis tarot goes And it's the reversed Page of Cups. It's called the Slave of Cups here. But as a cup, it's a water sign most likely. As a page, it could be a younger person or somebody who's not very mature or maybe just has a youthful outlook on life. But the Page of Cups reversed could be saying that youthful outlook is tempered by dissatisfaction and that maybe this is a person who feels that there's something owed to them in, in, in terms of life's experiences. And so they may be coming towards you thinking that you can fulfill them in some way. And it's very much about the emotions. So I don't know, this could be interesting because it could be basically um, an unwanted interest is what I'm thinking. So let them down gently, fire signs. And that's what I have for you then. We'll now move on to the water signs. And as we know, water signs are Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. We can almost always be considered emotional or harboring deeper secretive emotions. So, water science, what is the tone or the theme or essence for this week? It's the Seven of Pentacles. You are willing to consider the work of investment. You are ready to put forth what you think will nurture and make it grow. Uh, this is most likely a relationship, but it could be an emotional matter. And I think there's a sense also that uh, there's great appreciation for this process here. And so there's a sense maybe only that you could get caught up in that wonder of the growth of the relationship or the beautiful thing and forget that it will need some continuity moving to other stages. So what opposes your happiness, water signs? The Tarot of Oppositions.
It's the upright six of pentacles. There's a sense of fluidity between being generous and very much not generous or feeling that that there's no point necessarily in rewarding people or rewarding situations or or understanding fairness in bargains or situations so it's possible that the overall message is is there are some things you value maybe more than you should and then there are some things that that you don't value enough and you should value more and so what opposes your happiness is understanding that balance that maybe emotionally speaking you're being taken in by things that have a shine or, or a reality to you but you're not able to discern maybe a shallowness inside or it could be totally the opposite you're you're discarding what looks shallow and unworthy yet there may be a gem hidden there and somehow this is what opposes your happiness the ability to discern true value so now water signs and i know that didn't sound like a water sign at all well, it didn't sound like me so we move to the ibis tarot to find out Who's coming towards you? Who's reaching out in some interest? Maybe it's love. Maybe it's just a strong connection that they want to have. And once again, it's the slave or page of cups. Now this time he's upright. The person, the kind of person that may be coming towards you, water signs is like yourself, maybe a water sign. Maybe they're younger to you. I'm almost wondering if maybe this is somebody who just wants to be your friend and maybe learn from you, sort of a mentor relationship of some sort. But if it's not that, they may be interested in mostly becoming a good friend. They feel like there's something very bridging between you that maybe you connect in ways that are more than just the physical. So I think it's good. Okay. So that was the water signs. And now we're moving on to earth signs. Ursulines, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn said in their most breathy manner. So thank you for watching, and before we go, I want to remind you to watch Happy Hour. tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come and get a one-card message of clarity or hope and good news. It's all there for you. One card per person. Line up in the chat room starting at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Sunday morning is Banshee's Material Matters. It's pre-recorded, but we are live in the chat room. And boy, do we have fun. We just share the reading, we share our interest, and of course, there's always the talk of coffee. But so bring your morning beverage, whatever it is, and we'll hash it out. Banshee's Material Matters, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're also live later that afternoon from 2 to 4 p.m. All right, so that was a good shuffle. Here's the emotional theme or vibration for the earth signs for this week ahead. It's the reversed emperor. So emotionally speaking, you sort of feel like, it's maybe a feeling like Caesar in a way. You sort of feel like somebody's out to get you. 
You don't know who to trust. Emotionally speaking, you feel like the ones closest to you maybe have a figurative knife behind your back. Let's hope it's only that. Emotionally speaking, you're a mess at this time, or that's what's going on around you. Things don't seem to be in control, and you don't know who to, to get to help you. So as if that wasn't already depressing enough, what is it that opposes your happiness, Earth signs? We will ask the terror of oppositions. So it is a reverse card, and what I would have to say because of the fluid nature here is that we're talking about the concepts of accepting defeat or accepting the need for change, perhaps. That's what I see here, is that there's sort of a rigidness in case this way, the finality, you know, the Ten of Swords. And then there's the sense maybe of freeing yourself from that and the person looks contemplative as in a prayerful gesture so that's what i get from from here and i'm looking at this because of the fluidity involved in that that there is a real range here you know and it isn't totally represented just his mind is free but that's what he needs to happen there so what opposes your happiness is not being able to change, is being too rigid, um, and it is a process. You are moving in a better direction, but you still have work to do. So let's find out that who may be coming towards you, emotionally speaking, who is reaching out to you, Earth signs. And it's another page, this time it's the upright page of pentacles. The person reaching out to you may be somebody who needs your help learning something. I think that the slave or page of pentacles represents somebody that has an inquisitive mind and maybe somebody who's looking for a little peace in their lives and they may feel you can bring that to them, that maybe you are able to bring something of value to them. So they are looking at you, once again, I think it's a mentor position, but it's also interesting to note, Earth signs, that this could be an Earth sign personality too, as it is a pentacle. All right. So that was my emotional exchanges for this week. And I'm really glad if you got something good out of it. Um, maybe you let me know, but don't forget.